After five years of absence, the Russian delegation has returned to the base session hall. The first thing it did was offer its candidate for the position of the Assembly's vice president, Leonid Slutsky, a member of the Russian parliament who was included in new sanction lists for supporting the annexation of Crimea. As the only candidate for the position, Slutsky was to be elected automatically. However, Ukraine insisted on voting. The vice president will be elected behind closed doors at the evening session. Here, in this session hall, we have to follow the PACE regulations. These obligations Delegations extend to each member of the delegation who was now present in this hall. We cannot be here together with criminals. As a protest against Russia's return, Ukraine has suspended its membership in base. The delegation is addressing the Verkhovna Rada with the need to urgently consider the suspension of Ukraine's participation in PACE in the future. We are addressing the President and the Foreign Affairs Ministry with a request to immediately determine a clear position on Ukraine's future participation in the institutions of the Council of Europe. The decision to return Russia to base was adopted late at night, following a nine-hour-long debate. As a result, delegates supported the resolution, which completely changes the base sanction mechanism. Now the Assembly can no longer suspend the delegates' rights to vote and take part in committees, despite any violations committed by the countries they represent. First of all, these are moral losses for Ukraine, since the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe is just a platform for discussion. Its advantage is that it includes not only members of the European Union, but all European countries. Russia's rights in base were significantly restricted in 2014, after the annexation of Crimea. It was deprived of the rights to vote, participate and speak during sessions. The Kremlin declared a boycott and stopped paying contributions to the organization, forming a debt of around 70 million euros. As a result, this month PACE was supposed to consider fully stopping Russia's membership. 118 PACE deputies voted for Russia to pay contributions without complying with any of the resolutions of the Parliamentary Assembly. Money turned out to be more valuable than principles for them. Now these 118 European politicians are responsible for the Ukrainians killed in Donbass and Crimea for the abuse of political prisoners. Today, those who voted for this resolution crossed out the principles of PACE on the 17th anniversary of the creation of the Council of Europe. Russia's return was supported by the Netherlands, France, Germany, Italy, Turkey and other countries. Ukraine voted against. So did the representatives of Sweden, Poland, Croatia, Romania, Great Britain, Latvia, Estonia and Armenia. Of course, we will continue fighting, but what happened today was a Strasbourg collusion, and it's very dangerous for all of Europe. Next time, after another of Putin's terroristic acts, like the poisoning in Salisbury, for example, it will also be the fault of those 118 deputies. The Ukrainian delegation left the hall as a protest. The country's representatives will return only to appeal against the decision to restore Russia's rights. Reported by Vadim Hrinko, UATV.